Oh, yes, reverberating, if that's the proper term. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, still uh, very much uh, things are happening in my life. Uh, as long as I'm out there uh, and paying attention, I have things I can talk about. Uh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, well, it worked. That's still a good source here. Uh, I'm uh, still uh, amazed on some of the things that I see there. I, I know that a few things are uh, different on, uh, on the emails and some of the other mechanics of, of this job compared to earlier ones, like having an extra uh, computer screen where we can look at things more easily. Uh, but uh, I think this is also the first time where uh, I can uh, put my own signature uh, on all of my emails with my job title, phone number, and all that. And I think that's cool. And I noticed uh, what a colleague did with uh, their signature. Uh, they uh, put a meme in that said, I love crocheting. And it's like, well, uh, that's cool. I didn't think you'd put that uh, in your signature. I figured uh, once you got to know somebody, then uh, you'd tell them that. But uh, what the one that really takes the cake, is, and I've been seeing it for quite a while, is uh, another colleague uh, has her ID photo, and she must love her dog because you can see the dog better than her in the ID photo. It's like, wow. Uh, I guess that means ask me about my dog or don't uh, if you don't want them to ramble on forever. Uh, and then uh, also at work uh, this uh, past week, I, I, I had to raise my hand and say, uh, hey, there's a spike in volume. I'm not used to seeing uh, 18,000 checks in one day. Uh, I'm not used to seeing half uh, that many in one day. And then I found, oh no, duplicated checks. It's like, yeah, well, it's a good thing that I said something before I got started on printing that many checks and then having to throw out that many because that'd be a waste of a uh, check stock. Uh, and then uh, there was a delay of a day or two and then I finally printed that day's checks. And at the next team huddle, my boss said I uh, saved the company a couple million dollars because uh, I said something. And it's like, well, that's cool. And then uh, somebody gave me uh, points. Uh, we have a point system and I usually just put it towards Amazon gift cards. I hear that's the most popular way uh, to use the points that people uh, give you because just about everything is on Amazon. Uh, although I still order from eBay more. Uh, uh, well, I went to my first Saints game of uh, the season on uh, Wednesday, uh, Saints baseball. Uh, and I got a really good picture of their mascot, uh, Madonna with a U, uh, at, because it's uh, Madonna as in uh, a pig. Uh, so I get on why it would be uh, mud with a U in, instead of uh, mad Donna. Uh, and during that time, the mascot decided to uh, stomp on some peanuts that somebody had uh, left behind. And then uh, those people came back. So then the mascot uh, brought them more uh, peanuts. And then hey, when the uh, old dude came back, uh, he said, yeah, everybody's already told me that story. And it's like, yeah, I'd be the type that would say that too. It's like, yeah, I only need to hear the story once. Uh, I don't know why everybody wanted to tell me that same story. It was like the one time at work where uh, my family name can be spelled as two words, La Rue. And uh, multiple people gave me an email that said, can't find on the email list. Please let him know. Well, ever since then, I now spell it as one word because uh, I didn't like people telling me that they couldn't find me if I spelled it as two words. And it's like, well, if I was a, a big cheese, I'm sure that they'd be able to find me, but I'm still a rank and file employee, so no. Uh, some people are idiots. Uh, uh, also notable about uh, that Saints game was uh, they had a giveaway promotion, and I... Uh, and the type that we usually accept whatever they give you. It was a magnet schedule. I like having something to read. Uh, and I accepted it, but I saw somebody else turn it down. It's like, oh, I guess it's not as popular as a bobblehead doll, huh? I usually don't see anybody turn those down because of how much they're uh, worth uh, on the secondary market. Uh, uh, well, I returned to one uh, performance venue that I hadn't seen since right before the pandemic was declared over a year ago. Uh, somebody I uh, had gotten stage time for 
from before was in town and I did a guest set and it, it was weird going back there uh, because I, one bartender uh, who's also a musician uh, asked me what was different about it. It's like, yeah, you've got less hair. Uh, I mean, I still knew who it was. And then uh, also notable about that is uh, I like being around after the show in case a crowd member recognizes me and I want to say it enjoyed your set and as such. Well, uh, this time I talked to two different crowd members and uh, the more notable one was somebody who came up to me and said, I remember you from this jump uh, from a year ago where you were there for only four days. And it's like, oh yeah, that's an unpleasant memory. I got cut after four days because they didn't believe in training people. That's truly a case of being set up to fail. And then uh, the dude told me, well, the company was in transition at the time and it doesn't exist anymore and they were bought out. And it's like, yeah, they still came off as dicks because uh, I was there for only four days. And even after I, I got the job at the bank that I have now, I said, yeah, that's hard to forget uh, that they don't believe in training people. And, uh, my current job spent a month of training on me because, uh, well, what's the point of hiring somebody if you're going to cut them after four days? Uh, who's in charge here? But yeah, it's corporate America. I mean, it really doesn't bother you much anymore. Uh, and people are dicks about it because it's still about capitalism. Uh. Uh, well, I, I am still doing uh, the Redbox movies on the weekends, and uh, I do my best to read the emails to see about the ones uh, that are new releases, and I'm thankful I chose the one I did this weekend because it was Nomadland. Uh, they said it was an award winner. I guess it was Best Picture winner this year, and I like road movies, so I figured I would like it, and I was correct. Uh, I liked it because it had a documentary feel. And I am the type that does like independent movies and documentary movies. And they did say the director was known for doing independent movies. Uh, so yeah, uh, I recommend it. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is notable about it. I mean, all the people that they meet along the way. Uh, also where they go to Wall Drug. And it's like, yeah, I've been there. So I know it's relatable for many because it's a popular tourist site. Uh, just that scene where uh, she's uh, uh, near wall drug at night. It's like, yeah, I, I can picture that, just that uh, deserted road. Uh, because I think it was that way when I was there, too. Uh, well, I got my second COVID vaccine this week, and I guess that, that reminded me about capitalism as well. I'll get to that. Uh, notable about uh, this one, it was still in the same complex, which is St. Paul's Convention Center. Uh, was uh, that uh, this time they said, well, uh, the vaccine will feel like you got punched in the arm uh, for a while. And it's like, oh, so it remind me of being in high school because I got bullied a lot. And yeah, that is uh, what happened. It, it does feel that way, but it doesn't bother me. And, uh, I mean, I, I'm still fine. And uh, they had stickers this time, so I claimed one. Uh, I got my shot. And it reminds me of, uh, I think, uh, what was it, Rosie the Riveter from World War II uh, saying, we can do it, uh, the uh, strong arm, the raised arm. Uh, so uh, I get it on uh, how we're trying to get through uh, something that's uh, really tough. And uh, the other side of the times uh, about the way uh, people have been for a while is they had a selfie station there uh, because at the entrance, they put up a sign that said no photography. And it's like, yeah, uh, the powers that be, I'm sure, understand that people like picture taking. So give them what they want. Give them a selfie station. I'll admit, I took a self, I did take a selfie of me uh, while I was there. I I'm better at selfies than I was, uh, where sometimes I can take it, uh, get it uh, the way I want in just one attempt. Oh, and now the capitalism part with the pandemic. Uh, in St. Paul's Convention Center, I, I looked around because, uh, well, I, I'm not there all that often. I mean, the hockey arena is there, but it's uh, sporadic on how often I, I see events there. I mean, I'm taking advantage of the free parking. That's one incentive they gave for uh, the vaccine, because otherwise it would have been $10 to park across the street. And so I looked at the vending machine that was there. You know what was in it? An N95 mask for $3. So, yeah, like most things in vending machines, uh, be it... Um, drinks, 
or snacks, it's overpriced. And it's like, well, yeah, leave it to somebody in America to think of a way to make money off of the pandemic because uh, that's the American way. Capitalism, no matter what it is, somebody wants to make money off the situation. I'm wondering how many people buy the mask, though. I know I didn't need it because they gave me one when I checked in for the vaccine appointment, even though I already had one on my face. And I don't know where they made the N95 mask either, but uh, it appeared to be uh, Asian characters. Uh, so uh, good chance it wasn't made in America. Uh, that's all I could tell uh, about it. Uh, oh, and then, uh, yeah, I guess we'll uh, leave on this one. Uh, I uh, do have the radio uh, on in my car a lot when I'm uh, going uh, to and fro, be it to, to and from work or errand running on the weekends. And I heard uh, one thing recently that I said, yeah, makes sense. Uh, because uh, they, before they went to commercial, they uh, said there was some big discovery uh, about uh, people. Uh, and then uh, when they came back from commercial, they said, what age is it when you finally stop caring what other people think? They said it was age 46, and it's like, yeah, sounds about right. I'd like to think I got to that point <laughs> in life uh, even before turning 46. Uh, I'd like to think that was when I started performing, where it's like, yeah, you have to be in control of that, yet, uh, of that situation in so many different ways. That's what I love about performing. I mean, the part about how uh, you have to be uh, uh, committed to it, uh, and then... Uh, I say I'm ready to go a lot uh, because you have to be ready. Uh, and then, of course, all the people you have to handle there, like shutting down hecklers and such. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's kind of nice to hear something relatable on the radio. I mean, sometimes it's just talk radio that it's like boring. But sometimes they come out with uh, studies uh, that uh, make perfect sense. So yay for that, at least uh, for that time for a change. So I guess that'll do it for me. Thank you. You've all been great. Yay! Thank you, love.